All right, guys, you can probably see the monitor on my screen right now, and um, I'm going to be reviewing this. But before we start the review, I just wanted to say I apologize for skipping a day of uploads. I've just been pretty busy, so I'm going to try to bang out three videos in the next three days. Uh, starting off on the first day, it'll be this monitor review. Tomorrow, I'll be di uploading a Discord video, and then the next day, it'll be a Minecraft gameplay footage. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's cue right into the review. What's going on guys, Burrito here, and today we're going to be doing a review video of some more tech. But as you guys can see, this is actually one of the review videos that I've never done before. So today I'm going to be reviewing a gaming monitor, or you can just call it a regular monitor. So this monitor is called the Alienware 34 inch ultra, light, ultra wide monitor, or as the Alienware company specifies it, it is the AW. 3418DW monitor. So I'll be linking it in the description below, but you guys are probably wondering, Burrito, what's unique about this monitor? And I'm gonna tell you. So um, just before I say it, in the future, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button and I'll make some more uh, videos reviewing monitors because I actually have four of them so I can do a lot of different reviews. So what is unique about this monitor, you may wonder? Well, this monitor is actually 34 inches. That's crazy and all, but what's even crazier is the cr price tag with a whopping $900 to $1,200. This monitor is very expensive and that is why I'm gonna be reviewing it for you guys. So we always review some of the most top-notch stuff and gear on this channel. So as you can see, this is actually 3440 by 1440p and wow look at this monitor so I'm gonna this is a little bit about the front side so um, I'm gonna show you guys how it actually goes down I know that I'm pretty up close but this monitor is actually really weird with um, with its like up and down rates so the way that it works is you have to put a lot of pressure actually so as you can see I'm actually like moving it up and down which is not what you really want to do so actually I'll bring it back a little bit and show you the up and down and the sideways like left to right if you know what I mean and then I'll try to move it up and down because it is kind of hard to move up and down so this is the vertical um, angles that you can move up and down then obviously you can move it that way and this way. And you'll get a lot of these tech specs at the end of the video where I do an actual screen of this monitor and me using it. But let's try to bring it down. So right now I'm actually facing it downwards and it takes a lot of strength to do this. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that you have to be insanely strong or that I'm really strong, but I'm just saying that it is kind of hard. So what I've noticed that helps a lot is doing it from up here really doesn't help. But what I'll show you is this. So as you can see, I did just move it up and down. Uh, sorry if you see my setup in the background. Um, I may mention this again in the, back, in the end of the video, but um, I am making a new setup. So what I've noticed is that if you press this, this is what attaches it to the back of the monitor. If you press that down, it helps it a lot more. So now I'm actually the lowest it can be, like that. And now we're gonna bring it back up. So I'm just gonna go like that. And there we go. So we got the monitor looking good. And just a quick teaser. So this is actually the end of the front of the monitor. After this, you'll see the back of the monitor and then the internal and physical specs of the monitor. All right, guys, and we are back to the back of the monitor. So you guys can see the monitor in all of its glory right here. 34 inches. Once again, the resolution is 3440 by 1440p. You can see from left to right, it is has this chrome, silver, metallic-y kind of color to it. Very nice. And Alienware is actually really big on their LEDs and their logos scattered around their products. So you can see one logo right there. And if you look closely, there's another logo right here. I also showed you on the front that that's how you bring it down. 
little bit of force goes into it because once again, this monitor is ginormous. So we can see that they have their name, Alienware, and this right here is actually an LED, um, kind of like a rod, I guess you could call it, just a strip of LED. Then we got uh, three legs, I guess you could say. We got one right there, kind of serving as the stump. And then we got two right here. These are pretty long on your desk. Uh, they do take up a little bit of space, but having a 26 pound monitor, you kind of have to uh, have pretty long legs. And then now we're gonna go to the technical stuff. So if we go right here, you're gonna be able to see that we got the uh, HDMI cable plugged in. And if I take it out, um, this monitor has an HDMI and a display port. It has aux port right there and a network port or ethernet port. You got uh, U two USB ports and uh, a little clip on the back right here, which you can use to put on the back panel. Um, if you back up a little bit more and go to the left side of the mount, then you're gonna be able to see that we got uh, a little port right here with a covering and then we got the power port. So uh, I'm gonna show you this is the HDMI that I use. Uh, I I figured that, um, well, I haven't figured. I figured out that uh, using this monitor, it for me, for some reason, it did not work that well with DisplayPort, so I just ended up using HDMI. I have heard that DisplayPort uh, gives it better quality and a better refresh rate, but um, I use HDMI on this monitor. Now, you probably are thinking, that is uh, a lot of ports, but there are even more. You got two more USB ports and another aux port to plug in your headphones. Once again, you got two more, or you got another uh, LED uh, rod with one right here and one right there. And then obviously the one that I just showed you. So this monitor is awesome. I definitely recommend it. Um, once again, with the whopping price tag of about $1,100, it is a crazy monitor, definitely worth its price, and I love it a lot. If you guys were wondering what the side panel or the back panel is, I'll show you right now. All right, guys, we got the back panel uh, put on. It looks a lot better with the back panel. You can't see any of the wires because the wires go through that little port right there instead of just going off onto the side, and it's really easy to take off. You just put your hands under the panel and you just pull, and then once you pull it off, it looks like this. Kind of that glossy look to it and then if you flip it over you can see that it's got these little nudges right here which are used to clip it onto the back of the monitor and then this little uh wave type indents for decoration i'm pretty sure um so that was the end of the back of the review so we're going to cue to the internal or uh me using the monitor and some gameplay and if you guys can see on the left side of my screen, this is actually a bunch of PC parts because if you guys uh, remember, I'm actually building a PC. So look out for a bunch of new PC build videos because I'm gonna be transferring PC, uh, a new PC into a new PC case. And we're obviously building a PC and possibly building a desk. So a bunch of new video ideas coming out. And I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to, uh, Keep watching to see the internal of this monitor. Uh, by internal, we mean specs of the monitor, like how long, the hertz, the refresh rate, overclocking, and then obviously me using it. So let's get to that. What's going on guys, Burrito here. And today we're back to another video on uh, reviewing. So I just showed you guys the physical aspects of the monitor. And now we're gonna go on to a real time of what the monitor looks like. So uh, I will be showing you a little bit on here and then I'm gonna cut to the actual resolution of 1920 by 1080 so you guys can follow along. But this is just a little uh, sneak peek of what it looks like. This is the monitor in its whole. It is humongous. Now, if you guys wanna see what it looks like on different applications, I'll be showing you different applications. So right here, you're gonna see um, my Spotify, which I'll bring up onto the screen now. So I'm gonna full screen it. Look at that. That's what Spotify looks like. It is huge. 3440 by 1440. Now, if you guys wanna see what Discord looks like, let me show you this. This is what Discord looks like and we're gonna full screen it now. Look at that. That's what Discord looks like. So yeah, 
Uh, if you guys want to know, this is my Discord server, pushing um, 9,000 plus members, or 8,000 plus, sorry. And um, I'll be linking that in the description below. But uh, let's queue to the 1920 by 1080. Alright guys, you guys might have seen the footage from before, and it was actually pretty blurry. So that is because the resolution is just really weird. Uh, OBS doesn't like to deal with that. So uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like on 1920 by 1080 This is not the Alienware model. Uh, I'm actually using an Acer monitor right now to record this. So um, if you guys want, I can review other monitors. Just smash the like button and I will know. But let's go on to the physical aspects. Right now I am on Amazon because uh, Amazon gives you a pretty good outlook. Uh, as you can see, it shows the price is $989.90, originally around $1,100. Now if we scroll down all the way to about here, these are the actual uh, information that you really need to know. So the screen size is 34.1 inches with the max resolution of 3440 by 1440. Now I will pull up a game on the screen. You'll see at the end of the video, I didn't put that into the original Alienware model uh, resolution part of the video because I didn't think that was important, but uh, I'll put it in at the end. So the brand name is Alienware. The model, like I said before, was AW. 3418DW, which means Alienware 34 and then 18. Um, I'm not really sure what the 18 stands for. Um, it might be 34.18, which is the um, the screen size, which you can see right here, 34.1. So, uh, and then DW must be uh, Delware or something like that. But um, the color is black, dimensions are 32.03 by 12.56 um, by 22.08 and that is the item dimensions. Item weight is 26.1 pounds like I said and uh, additional information is uh, you can go onto Amazon and figure that out which I will be linking in the description below. But yeah, that was pretty much all you really needed to know, the product si or item size and um, the uh, resolution and its weight because that's really all you look for in a monitor. So additionally, which it doesn't really show on here, is it is 124 or 120 hertz if you overclock it, and if you do not overclock it, it is 100 hertz with a four millisecond response time. And yeah, so that's the monitor, and I'll be cutting to some uh, gameplay right now. Alright guys, I am on Minecraft now. I'm on the big monitor as you can see. Ow, it is really, really, really uh, spread out. It is a little bit laggy. I don't know if that's because of the monitor or not. I think it is because the monitor is just so big. So let's queue into just a game. Burrito Civilization is fine. Um, you can see the hertz are really showing right now. We're not running a good FPS, which is fine. You know, uh, it is what it is. If you want a big monitor and you want to spend a lot of money, this monitor does look really good for uh, games that uh, you just need to use logic for. You know, if you want to buy a monitor for Minecraft, I would buy 1920 by 1080. But if you want to buy a monitor for a flight simulator or maybe a racing simulator, I would buy that because that gives you a good look on what it really feels like and looks like. So this is just some gameplay and what it really feels like playing in different games. So I'm running and jumping right now. So I'm just going to do a test of me turning and me running. So not really many skipped frames right now. That's what it looks like. And now I'm going to, this is me turning slowly. All right, jeez Louise, oh my gosh. Jeez, I did not think they were gonna get that in the video. Oh my gosh, three ender pearls, holy crap. Oh gosh, I guess this did turn out pretty well. So uh, that is me using this monitor for gameplay. It looks really good. So if you have enough money to spend on this monitor, I do recommend it. It is a phenomenal monitor and 
pretty surprisingly, I used this monitor as my main monitor for a while, which is the reason that my uh, Twitch streams have been kind of slowed down because it is actually kind of hard to stream on this monitor. As you can see, the resolution is kind of whack and Streamlabs does not like it. So um, I'll be linking my Twitch in the description below as well. A lot of plugs this video. So in the description, you will find a link to my Discord server. You'll find a link to uh, this monitor on to buy it on Amazon. You'll find a link to my Twitch stream. And lastly, you'll find a link to the uh, PC part video that I'm building. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you look on the screen now, you'll see this is how many people are uh, actually subscribing when I make videos, which, uh, come on guys, smash the subscribe button. It's one click away, and it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, I'm trying to hit a thousand by the end of the year, which I know that we can. And if you like this video, hit the like button so I know if I should make more monitor reviews. And I hope you guys enjoyed. This is Ultimate Burrito from Ultimate Gaming Lounge, and I hope you guys have an ultimate day. I'll see you later.